Good morning, Andre. This is Braden from Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Mate, just doing a quick virtual tour, as promised, of our 2020 uh, Subaru Liberty here in front of me, the 2.5i. Uh, mate, absolute glamour of a car. Obviously, bugger all K's on there. Um, obviously, it was actually locally owned here in Cairns uh, by the Catholic Diocese. So, it was literally just driven around, sort of, from, um, obviously, church to church and errands and things like that. So, uh, it sort of explains the uh, the super low Ks and um, full service history here in Cairns. So, mate, I understand you are down south, so no stress at all. Um, we're obviously Pacific Toyota, so here in Cairns, so we're uh, lucky enough to have two massive big pre-owned yards up here. I'm currently at 231, uh, 235 Mulgrave Road. We've got another one up uh, further closer to town at 77 Mulgrave Road. And, of course, you can see our Toyota and Lexus showrooms at the top there, service departments down the street. And, um, yeah, mate, we're pretty unreal set up here, but we get some awesome cars because of it. So... Mate, going to make my way around the whole car, um, be as picky as I possibly can for you. If there's anything you can't quite see, please let me know. So starting from the very, very front here, going to make my way around the, um, obviously the wheel arch. Looking very, very tidy, right across that bonnet there too. So we did get a fair bit of rain last night, so that's all that is. Uh, no chips or cracks or anything through the windscreen there as well. Extremely clean across the roof there too. Even down these wind, uh, down the doors there as well. You can see yourself, like no dents, no nothing. Uh, heaps of tread left on these guys. So you got your little indicator just in there. It's on the, just on the actual indicator there. So probably about 60, oh, sorry, 70 percent left on those tyres, if not more. Very tidy through here, through those alloys. Looking extremely well looked after. So like I said, it was literally owned by the church here in Cairns. So. It's um, been very, very well looked after. Super tidy through the um, passenger door here. Maybe just a little chip just there. Um, if that's a concern for you, let me know. We can always um, look at getting it touched up. Maybe just another one just there. And just on the inside of the actual door handle, so from people's fingernails, things like that, catching the, the actual paintwork, there's a tiny little bit of scratching on the inside there, but not too bad. Exceptionally clean through the inside here on that passenger front door card. You obviously got electric windows the whole way around here as well, and even on that entry point here too. Got your bill plates and everything down here for you. And of course that main entry. Apologies for the bits of dirt in there. Did go for a test drive yesterday, so we of course get them cleaned before they um, come back down to you. But absolutely immaculate through the inside here. see yourself through that roof so while I'm here I'll just show you that service history as well so all your books manuals everything's all in this um, in the glove box here so we've got your service history in this one so they've been very meticulous about it they've even kept like invoices everything as well so first service originally at uh, obviously 2020 in September at 1800 kilometers here in Cairns next one at 12,000 kilometers at off the wheel automotive so again just around the corner from us and then pacific high so that's us so if they come in and they're due for a service we get them done so 24,000 kilometers 161 so not due again until about 36 500 or uh, november next year so awesome service history there exactly what you want to see so we'll pop all that away from for you but extremely tidy through there keep working our way down all really well looked after Maybe just one of those little scratches just on the inside there and just a little hairline one there I'm sure they might be able to even try and hit that with a little bit of polish but it's not too bad it's quite hard to see until you sort of very right up close uh, child box obviously on both rear doors here as well with those ones cup holders in here There's plenty of storage obviously electric windows like I said the whole way around so the beauty of the Subaru is part of their safety factor is you've actually got this little uh, notch here where that actually sits into. So any side impacts, it just gives that um, a hell of a lot more structure to the car and holds hold the door in place for you. Uh, you've got a couple USB ports back here as well. So for the kids, things like that. So USB ports in there, aircon control from back here. So anyone wanting to charge their phones, things like that. The um, argument separators here with the cup holders as well. Three child anchor points all across the back there. So one, two, and three. One of those. And of course, you can drop these down. 
just like that with that little button. So again, you can drop that side down. There's 60-40 split. So if you want to put anything larger through the boot into the back seats, you can of course do that as well. So that's all there for you. Keep moving around. So there you obviously the rear passenger alloy this time. Again, looking exceptionally clean with a stack of tread left on there. Really well looked after. Like I said, just used for um, obviously driving around town, doing errands, things like that, I imagine. That's just a little bit of dirt. Again, it did go for a test drive yesterday, so. Tiny little scratch just there. Just under the number plate itself. Not too bad. So on the, um, well, we're here. So you obviously got the kit, one key for this one. So your central locking on, on left in the top of there. And of course, I was just holding that down for the boot to open this. So you hold that one down. Give you access to the boot there. Massive boot in these guys. One of the perks for them. And like I said, you can drop those seats down to give you access into the back. So you've got your spare wheel. Full trade on there, looks brand new. And of course your jack and tools just there for you too. So this actually does come out as well. So if you're on the side of the road and it's boiling hot or anything like that, you can bring that out, put it down next to the tire and it gives you a platform to, uh, to work off that isn't the hot ground. So again, that's all in there for you. Close that one up. Pretty tidy across the back there. Looks like a tiny, tiny sort of little scuff. But again, just very, very light. Not too bad at all. Watch the roof there as well. So that, again, just down the rest of the, um, obviously fuel's on this side too. The release is just under the um, driver's foot too, for that one. Little hairline mark just there. Not too bad. Again, very clean across the um, driver's side rear wheel here. Now we've got just a little, maybe like a bush or something, might have just brushed it. So that's just a little, little ones there. Sorry, right, mate, accidentally hit pause. So just on the um, driver's side rear one here now. So these windows aren't actually tinted, but we can do all that here for you as well. So don't stress about that. Tiny little, tiny little mark there. But exceptionally clean. Doesn't look like these back seats have actually been used, to be honest with you. Like I said, that actually folds down for you, giving access into the back there again. Keep cruising along. A couple tiny, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see them in the camera, but just one little one there and one little one there. Tiny little stone chips. But obviously, two years old, this thing is just immaculate. Extremely well looked after. And just a little one there as well. So into the driver's door here now. So obviously got all your electric uh, window controls here for you, central locking, window locks. You've got a power fold option there. So when the car's on, you can actually push this one. It's going to uh, tuck those mirrors in for you. And of course, the left and right side of the cars and adjust that toggle as you need to for the mirrors. Again, super clean through the inside here. That's that little fuel release there I was saying about. Now short people like me, you can sit there and crank this one right up, give you that hot adjustment. Of course that one there is for the backrest. Super clean through the inside there too. So I'll just close this one up and show you just the last of the um, last of the outside of the car and then I want to actually jump inside as well and show you in there as well. So obviously the driver's side front wheel now. Super clean. And again, absolutely stacks of tread left on these guys. There's a little bit of a mark there as we come around. This is about the only bad part of the car. So we've got a little bit of a scuff here, which I reckon might sort of polish out. Same with this one here. But this one looks like a rock or something has flicked up. So there is a bit of a chip there. So guys, if it is a concern for you, let me know. And I'm sure... Um, if you're really keen in the car, things like that, I'm sure we can negotiate and talk about potentially painting that front bumper for you. But it's all stuff we can certainly do for you. Don't stress about that. So very clean through the rest of it. So we're going to jump inside, start this one up for you. Come the key out for you. Straighten those wheels up so you can see. Alrighty, get some air coming out because it's bloody hot. 
24,181 kilometers. So unbelievably low kilometers, no engine lights, no dash lights, nothing like that, of course. Uh, like I said, not due for a service until about 36,500 or uh, 23rd of November this year. Um, up on the steering wheel, absolutely plenty of controls. They give you basically the option to, to control everything from the steering wheel while you're driving, of course, as well as the, the displays and everything like that. So up on the left-hand side, you've of course got your, your wipers and things like that, but you do have an automatic setting there for them too. So they'll just, um, they're rain sensitive, so they'll basically just turn on and off as they need to. Um, the faster you drive, the faster they'll move as well. So they're very clever in that regard. Got little paddle shifts back here. So a little minus sign on this one and a plus side on this one. So you can go up the gears with the right hand side, down the gears with the left. So if you want to have a little bit of fun with it or drive it around, or if you're even just coming down super steep hills or inclines or anything like that, where you want to control the gears yourself or even just overtaking cars, that's the ones you want to use. Um, up on the left hand side here, so again, we've got all your uh, radio controls, so your volume and everything like that from the actual steering wheel here. You can jump between AM radio, FM radio, USB, uh, AUX, Bluetooth, whatever, from all up here as well. Once your phone's connected, you can answer and hang up the phones from up here too. Um, little display down in here, you can jump between uh, all your different menus from these little buttons down here. So you push them from behind, and these ones are controlled, so you can go through. So you've got obviously your digital uh, display there for the speedo, uh, average fuels, um, all that sort of thing, trip meters, that kind of thing and all your personal settings as well through those ones there. On the right hand side we've got a couple like obviously a different modes, so sports mode there for you. So you can say the uh, different inclines so you get the, the faster acceleration and things like that. And of course you can put it back to normal. So that's a bit more fuel economy, uh, economic on that, that one there. Um, cruise control is all here for you so you can turn it on and off with that one. Adjust your speed while you're driving and the um, sensitivity to, to the braking and things like that because it does have forward collision on this as well. So you can actually adjust the sensitivity going up and down with these ones. Uh, so that way, you know, if you don't like sitting on people's backsides, you can give yourself a bit of space with the cruise control on. So awesome little setup there. Uh, you've got lane departure here too, so if you start to drift over, um, not paying attention, uh, it's going to beep and it's going to let you know, notify you of that. Headlights themselves, of course, have got an automatic setting, so again, you can leave them on auto as well. They're light sensitive, so if they pick up uh, daytime, nighttime, whatever, they're just going to turn on and off as they need to. Parkers, headlights, high beam, fog lights, all that kind of thing are all just down here like normal for you. Um, on the actual display itself, so on the dash here, so we can of course adjust the brightness of this, all the displays from here. Uh, we can actually adjust these headlights. So you've got a zero to five setting and you can adjust the pivot of the headlights. So if you're driving down a rural road or anything like that and you want a bit more distance, you can crank it right up to five. Um, if you're just driving around the cities, things like that, and you want to see a little bit closer, you can actually pivot them down. So on the, uh, if you pull up to your, your garage door of a night time and, and play with that one, you'll actually be able to see it moving. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can of course open the boot from here electronically. Uh, that forward collision is operated through here. Lane departure is turned on and off from here. And we do have an automatic stop here too. So once you come up to a set of traffic lights, stop sign, whatever, once you come up to, to a complete stop, the car will turn off with this one. So it's designed to save fuel. If you don't like it, so see that little orange light there? If you don't like it, you can turn them on and off as well. Traction control is here for you. Uh, bonnet release should be just down there somewhere. That one, so I'm gonna pop that because I wanna show you under there as well. Uh, like I said, you do have power fold mirrors, so you can tuck these in and out there as well. Um, and of course, the mirror controls, central locking, and window controls are all there for you too. Uh, as we come around, massive big touchscreen display. You do have a little reverse camera tucked in the back there in the boot, so you can physically see the back of the uh, the rear bar there, so you never really should actually crash into anything. We've got directional. So as we turn the steering wheel, it's gonna show us exactly where we're gonna go as well. So really handy for, uh, for maneuvering between cars and things like that. We really like them here on the yard. As we put it back on park, like I said, big touchscreen display, AM radio, FM radio, all your little favorites down the bottom. Hit radio, it's going to bring you to this menu. Phone's going to bring you, once your phone's connected, to all your, um, your addresses, uh, sorry, your uh, contacts, things like that. Um, apps button, so it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so once your phone's connected, you can use this little USB port that's hidden down in here. Plug your phone into that, and you'll be able to use your maps and things like that, uh, project it from your phone to the actual screen here. Really nifty. Home button's gonna bring you to this one. So again, Bluetooth controls. Apps is gonna take you to that um, Apple CarPlay and that. Uh, media, so all your phones, USBs, things like that. Radio, where we just were. And of course, all your settings. You can actually add little shortcuts up here too. So it's a really awesome little setup and these guys absolutely love it, big fan of them. Um, Aircon controls are down here for you. So it is dual climate control. So passenger can sit there and adjust their temperature. Driver can do the same over here. And of course, all your fan speed, where you want it coming out, things like that is all operated through the middle. Uh, you do have a little USB down there, an accessory plug with just a dud, not the actual lighters, I don't do those anymore. Um, 
electric handbrake in this one as well so once you got the foot on the brake you can push that down you'll feel the um, engage and disengage from your foot and you'll also be able to see the little light uh, indicated there telling you when it's on and off um, we've got an auto hold there too so if you come to like traffic lights or you know construction sites things like that you can push that one it's going to hold the car in drive so that way um it's not, not going to take off without you and you can sort of rest your feet uh adjustable cup holders in there plenty of storage in here for coins things like that and absolutely stacks of storage in there too with another accessory plug um even little stuff that they give you like little recesses here so when you uh, if you've got cords and things like that coming in and out you don't go crunching the cords and damaging them so just little things that are pretty nifty uh drop down handles on both sides uh, all four sides as well, adjustable seat belts on the front, uh, airbags going right across the front and of course in the seats, through the dash, in the steering wheels as well. So absolutely awesome safety factors on these guys. But look, we're going to leave this running. I'm going to jump out for a second. I do want to show under that bonnet as well before we finish up. So it's all up on struts. So you can see a little firewall there. So obviously never been touched. You always get the balance of the factory warranty with this one too. It's an absolute glamour through here. Like I said, full service history here in Canton, done absolutely bugger all K's. This little run around stuff. Oh, close that up. So you got little daytime running lights here too. So as soon as the car's running, these guys will turn on. They look good, but they do make you stand out as well. But look, Andre, thanks again so much for your inquiry. And um, can't wait to hear your feedback soon.